Aloha! We are staying at the Embassy Suites on Waikiki on the beach walk and we ended up upgrading our room from a one bedroom, two bed suite to a two bedroom suite. So the nice thing is we have our own room, our own separate bathroom, our patio, lots of space. Here's the living room. This balcony is attached to our bedroom. And then right through those doors is where the girl's bedroom is. Same as our room, except it has two queen size beds in it. So we had plenty of room to spread out. They also have their own bathroom, which is just fantastic when you have four daughters. This is our balcony. We are on the 12th floor. Room 1223 in the Aloha Tower. There's, no. There's a cruise ship out there. Um, we started in the Aloha Tower. That one does not have as good of views. Um, we actually ended up, right, this is the other tower here. We were right down there. And the problem is, every time a car comes in and out of that garage, it sends off this awful beeping noise. So our view was that. Um, with one bedroom for six nights, it was just way too crowded. So we came up here. Now we have this fabulous view of the pool. That right there is the Outrigger Hotel. This one here is the Trump Hotel, which they have a really cool looking pool. Um, down here, this building, you can see that's where they have breakfast every morning, and it's been a phenomenal breakfast. Uh, it's saved us a boatload of money to not have to go out every morning. Um, this building right here is where they do their drink reception in the evening, so we each got two tickets every night. So we have way too many tickets. We were not here every night to use them, nor did we want to use them every night, so we'll probably give those away to somebody. And then right over there where that umbrella where that guy is walking right now is where they have towel service and so they give you these cards and you turn in the card they give you towels and you're allowed to take them with you too so if you want to go to the beach or anything you have the ability to do that you just turn the towel back in they give you two new ones and that's kind of how we've been doing it we haven't been playing with the cards too much we just hold on to the towels and then when we're ready for new towels we just turn them in get new towels so overall, this has been a really nice day. So other than the pool being right there and being able to see what's going on, they always have entertainment in the evening as well, where someone comes in, cover band. Um, you can eat breakfast outside. Out here is the beach walk. Um, it's two stories over here. All of the, up and down all this road is all shopping and restaurants. Um, a couple of the restaurants right here come with a discount for staying at the hotel, so that's been nice. We just get takeout, we sit down right over here, and we just eat, and then it saves us the time of having to sit down and order food at a restaurant. And then if you go out to where that stoplight is, that's the main drag here, and there's tons of high-end shopping, um, lots of mall areas around here, open-air mall areas, uh, lots of food, and then if you go two blocks that way, that's where all the good beaching is. That's where the surf lessons are. Um, that's where the good waves are. Now, if you go that way, that beach is kind of protected by like piers and such. So there's really not waves over there. So the girls did not like that beach. Um, so we went to the other one. Also, if you go out to the right, about a mile down the road is the Honolulu Zoo. Um, just about everything here in this main area is walkable. So that's been pretty nice. However, we have still taken the car out every day for our adventures. Uh, we have not tried the bus system. We did not try the trolley system. Uh, we mostly just walked or we went far enough out that we needed our car. Uh, however, I would say that this has been a really great stay. It's been a really great location and the food has also been very good. So definitely recommend if you're coming out to Honolulu. 
at the Embassy Suites at the Beach Walk is a great place to stay. Um, I will just say we are not on the beach here. You do actually have to either go out and walk over there. That's the Fort de Russy Beach. That's the one that does not have the waves. Or you walk out to the main drag and over. And that's where the good waves are to get to the beach. So if you are looking for direct beach access, I would say you want to go a little farther down the road. Um, I would say if I were to come back, I would definitely get the Moana Surfrider Hotel. I know that one is like pretty expensive from when I looked the first time, um, but they have direct beach access and cabanas, like the pool, everything is like right there. There's also a Sheraton right there that has all of that and like a super cute pink hotel. I don't know what it's called, but kind of small too. Um, there's a Regency right across the street. That would be an easy walk and it looks like they have pretty good views as well. Um, but overall, if you are a family looking for value, this is a really great place because of the breakfast. And honestly, I would say if my family were to purchase the breakfast that they serve here, it would probably cost over a hundred dollars each time. So that has been a phenomenal value, especially when there's six of us. So, that is all. It is still pretty early in the morning here, so it's dark out. But if you're looking for a good hotel for a big sized family, I would say this is a great value and definitely one to consider. Aloha!